Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All of my source code and video tutorials are located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just notepad and the command prompt. Today we're going to talk about Java comments. Java provides the ability to put comments into your source code. There are three types of comments, multi-line, single line, and Java doc. All three types of comments are ignored by the compiler. I'll save the javadoc comments for a later tutorial, so for now I'll just stick with teaching you multi-line and single line comments. This simple tutorial will explain the proper way to use both. We're going to go ahead and open up our DOS prompt here. Go down to start, search, type in CMD, or if you're running Windows uh, 7 or earlier you can go to start and run and type CMD. Type in cd space backslash, change directory to the root basically. Uh, we're going to make a directory called Java, and I already have that folder there. And we're going to change directories to Java. And we're going to make a directory called comments, and we're going to change directory to the comments folder. Type in notepad comments.java. Okay, so basically multi-line comments are nested inside a forward slash and an asterisk, and then you put the comment in, and then it's all comment is closed out with another asterisk and a forward slash. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just type that in there. Multi-line comments are nested inside a forward slash and and an asterisk the comment is closed out with another asterisk and a forward slash Asterisk. It's kind of always been a strange way of spelling stuff, but just my opinion. Okay, a single line comment is basically anything that falls on a single line after a couple of forward slashes. Pretty basic there. So we're going to go ahead and make our class comment. With an S. Opening brace, closing brace. Um, okay, so we'll just put in a single line comment here. Um, obviously, we need a main method, so we'll just put in uh, the main. method. Okay, right off the bat, inside of the main method, we're going to go ahead and just put in a multi-line comment here. Print line. This will not display. Put in another one here. Neither will this. Okay, now because everything is enclosed in the multi line comment, these which would normally print out when we actually run this won't. So uh, what we're going to do is um, now basically you can place comments inside of anywhere inside of your code. Well, I should specify that almost anywhere. What if we put in a 
what if we nest a multi-line inside of a expression statement? System.out.pr print line. Let's see where I'm going with this in a second here. Will this work? What if we just come right over here and we put in our uh, little multi-line comment, right? Everything should be ignored in here, right? Well, I know the answer, but I want to I want to just go ahead and show you what's going to happen here. So, Let's go ahead and compile this. Oop, so I have a little typo up there. Let's go ahead and save this. And we'll clear out the screen. And line 13, it really, really, really hates it that we just tried to nest a uh, multi-line comment right in the middle of the, the name of the print line method. So that's when, say, so you could almost put a comment anywhere. So. Do not nest. Inside of an expression statement. No, it won't. As a matter of fact, what we'll do up here is we'll go ahead and just comment this line out. We'll save this. Recompile it. Oh, no, not nest. That's really good. Let's see. No, do, do not nest. Save. So, do not nest comments inside of an expression statement. Okay, let's go ahead and close out of this. Close out of that. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.